Amagi Metals, where financial freedom is yours. Puppy side, an incident in which a police employee kills a dog. Police outfits don't keep statistics on the number of dogs their agents shoot and kill. Surprise! Still, the issue, which some liken to an epidemic, is becoming more known, partly because the practice is becoming more common as police adopt militaristic tactics, and partly because those wronged are refusing to remain silent and are utilizing social media and the court of public opinion in their quest for justice. This is just one story of unaccountability afforded to a shooter who happens to be a police employee. Residents of the Northside Buena Park neighborhood are still upset tonight, not just because police shot the puppy they all knew as the Colonel, but also because the shooting occurred not far from a preschool on a street where pedestrians, including children, could have been hurt. Meet Colonel Phillips, a seven-month-old miniature bull terrier whose father was a champion show dog and whose owners hoped one day would be a show dog himself. A neighbor called me and said I was getting a ticket, which I never I've been parked in for 35 years. And the office was behind the big van. I didn't see him. Open the gate. Look, my little puppy dog, right? Mm -hmm. Six months old, we have a it was out of my sight for a second, you know, and it was just wagging his tail, sniffing around. All of a sudden, I hear two shots ring out. I didn't even see the odd, I just heard the shots ring out. And the dog scampered down the road until, of course, it, you know, it, it, it collapsed and the neighbor carried it back. Um, and then the officer, with complete aplomb, you know, put his gun and continued to write the ticket. He didn't, now, had this little puppy dog been dangerous, I imagine he would have pursued it to kill it, but of course it wasn't. And the worst thing was that there were children, and those who could have well ricocheted into the uh, into a child. It all happened obviously very quickly, and the people around were absolutely furious, totally furious, because they knew that the, they saw exactly what happened. He needed a five-hour surgery. Um, they took shrapnel out of his stomach. He had a um, shell casing in his leg. Then I went over to the police station. Uh, to report it, and a high-ranking officer came out and listened to my story. He said, well, he said, I guess I think it's a justifiable shooting. I said, of course you're going to say that, that you boy. The fact is, absolute irresponsibility. I mean, if by the slightest imagination you feel this dog was, you could have just pushed it away with your foot. It's like a little tiny dog. This is pathetic. You know, this is a guy walking around with a firearm nuisance irresponsible as this. But the odd thing is, he never suspended the guy. You think to take him off the street for investigation. This is not even a marginal call. This was a little tiny thing, you know. So, made no sense. While I interviewed the dog's owners, I saw two police officers drive by. Ninety minutes later, they were back, asking Phillips why he had contacted the media, and then giving Phillips a ticket for not keeping the colonel on a leash. Later, that ransom note was thrown out. Pet bills were something like twelve thousand dollars. It was a thoroughbred dog. My wife had just bought it. We planned on breeding it. We can't breed it now because it penetrated its reproductive. So that's the end of that. It was just utterly stupid. They just can't understand why the dog was shot. They believe the officer seriously overreacted. Al Phillips and family have since filed suit against Pettigrew and the Chicago Police. Their motivation: they don't want to see the situation happen to anybody else. Gary McCarthy, the top dog at the Chicago police outfit, when trying to do damage control around the incident, said, We have to shoot dogs frequently in this city. Huh? Yeah, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my record. But I was hoping to talk to someone about the uh, incident involving Officer Pettigrew. Uh, I was okay, sir. I'm going to give you a number to the Independent Police Review Authority, and that's who uh, handles complaints against the police. 312-746-3609. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Good afternoon, Independent Police Review. Yeah, hi. I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records, but I was hoping to talk to someone about the incident that happened late last year involving Officer Pettigrew uh, with uh, the dog, Colonel. Okay. What I'm going to do is transfer to our intake area and let them know. Independent Police Review, can I help you? Yeah, hi, I want to let you know I'm recording this call from my records, but I was hoping to find out some information related to the uh, incident that happened late last year. Uh, an officer, uh, Pettigrew, who works out of Chicago's 19th district, who was involved with the... Yeah, nothing's coming up in uh, 19. No, 
but they could find no record of the investigation. How would the situation been handled differently if the shooter of Colonel didn't wear a badge?